Hey everyone, in the past I used the ESP8266 board to make a garage door opener. You can see the link in the description. Today I'd like to go over uh, various ways of programming the ESP8266 board. So I'll be using the ESP01S for the demonstration, but it can work with any other ESP board. There are a few ways of programming it, and you might actually already have everything you need to do this. I'll cover how to use the USB to serial adapter, a dedicated programmer, an Arduino board, and a Raspberry Pi. Perhaps the most unusual way is to use a Raspberry Pi or a similar single board computer with a serial port uh, to program the board without using any other adapters. Uh, first, in order to use the Pi, you need to ensure that the serial port is enabled, uh, as I'm shown here. I've also disabled the serial console just in case. I'm not sure if it'll have an effect or not, but just to be safe. I'll be using the Arduino IDE to program the board, and I'll post a link uh, in the description to how to set up the IDE for programming it, because there are plenty of tutorials already. To actually program the board, make sure you select the TTYS0 serial port and in general you can look at my settings and see if yours are similar. To wire up the board, uh, just follow this diagram. It's pretty easy. Basically you connect the 3.3 volt and the ground lines uh, directly to the Pi and make sure that the transmit and receive um, pins are reversed. So you connect the transmit on the Pi to the receive on the ESP and the uh, receive on the Pi to the transmit on the ESP. You also need to pull up the chip enable pin, the reset and the GP0 uh, pin up with uh, 10k resistors. Uh, you can probably use 1k resistor or something in between lying around. And in some settings I found that um, leaving out the pin 0 uh, floating seems to work, but I, I had some issues uh, with reliability, sometimes it would crash, so having these three seems to work every single time. Now you'll need to put the ESP board into programming mode. Uh, to do that, you need to boot the board with the uh, pin zero set low, and uh, to reboot it, just toggle the reset pin, so pull it down quickly and release it and after a couple of seconds, release the pin zero. Now you can program it. Once the programming is done, you can reboot the board, either pull the reset pin low or just remove the board and plug it back in. Next is Arduino. I'll be using Arduino Uno, but you can use any other Arduino board that has a USB uh, to UART converter. The wiring is very similar to Pi, except the transmit and re uh, receive lines are not crossed. I would also recommend removing the Arduino chip. It might work with it, but if there is a program in it already, then you might mess up your ESP board. Put the ESP into programming mode the same way as for Pi, and uh, if it makes things easier, you can wire up a button uh, if you're planning to do this multiple times. Next, I'll use a dedicated USB to serial adapter. The advantage is obviously you don't need to do any wiring, you just plug it in and it works. Just make sure you select the right port uh, when you're programming it. The one I'm using has a switch uh, that can toggle between the programming mode and the run mode. 
The only inconvenience here is that once you're done programming, you have to unplug it and replug it back into the USB to get it to run the code. Using the dedicated programmer is the easiest, most convenient, but also most expensive option. Um, this is also known as a frog programmer and it costs between 10 and upwards of $35. It has multiple advantages. For example, you don't need to unplug, replug uh, the board when programming it. Arduino IDE puts it into programming mode automatically and puts it into run mode once it's done. You also have access to all the pins on the board uh, through the breakout. And it can program ESP01, ESP07, ESP12, and I believe some other boards.